Hello friends, today I am going to start with series of 4 videos in which we will learn how to find squares of numbers using Vedic mathematics techniques and I am sure after going through these 4 videos and with a little bit of practice you can find the square of 2 digit, 3 digit, 4 digit and so on numbers quickly and at least 2 digit numbers in your head. One of such videos I have already uploaded on my YouTube channel. The link of that video is shown on the screen. I highly recommend before proceeding you go through that video. And in this first part of the video we will learn how to find squares of numbers using 7th sub sutra of Vedic mathematics which is Yavdunam Tavduni Kritya Varga Tojyat. And the literal meaning of this sutra is whatever the deficiency lessen by that amount and set up the square of the deficiency. But the use of this sub sutra is limited to find the squares of numbers which are very close to the powers of 10. For example, we have the numbers 13 square. Now here, 13 is very close to 10, 98 square, 112 square, 98 and 112, both are close to 100, 997 square, 1013 square, both are close to 1000. So these numbers which are close to the powers of 10, their square can be calculated using this technique or this sub sutra of Vedic mathematics. But I promise in my next video, we will extend the application of this sub sutra to the numbers of the form a times 10 raised to power n. For example, numbers 24 square, 53 square, 206 square, 302 and 502 square we will discuss in the next video. So let's start with an example. Our first number is 13 and let's see how to find the square of this number using our sub sutra Yavadunam. Step number one is find the base. Now what is base here? Base is the nearest power of 10 and in case of 13 the nearest power of 10 is 10 itself. So our base B is equal to 10. Step number two is find the deficit. Deficit is the difference between the number. The number is 13 and the base is 10. So our deficit will be equal to 13 minus 10 which gives us 3. So deficit in this case is 3. Step number 3 is find the sum of the number and its deficit. The deficit is 3. So what we do need to do is we have to find 13 plus 3 which will give us 16. Step number 4 is find the square of deficit. Since the deficit is 3, the square of deficit is 9. And how to find square of number is you write it as n plus d means number plus its deficit and the second part of the solution. Solution will have two parts. The first part of solution we will get by finding n plus d and the second part we will find we will get by squaring d but remember in second part of the solution we will take the number of digits equivalent to number of zeros in the base here base is 10 it means now d square we should have only one digit here and what is n plus d n plus d is 16 and d square is 9 so the square of 13 is 169 uh, I'm doing it step by step, but once you practice this method, I'm sure you'll be able to do it in your head without writing the solution. But yes, of course, for bigger numbers, you might have to use pen and paper, but uh, do a lot of practice. Try to do as much as possible in your head. So let's take our next example. Next example is find square of a number, which is 98. 98 is the number. Uh, first step is same find the base in this case in this case the nearest power of 10 is 100 so our base in this case b is equal to 100 in last case base was 10 
Step number two is find the deficit. In this case, deficit is negative because number is less than the base. So my deficit is minus two and we will consider the sign. I told you in the beginning, signs will be considered in this method. Step number three, find the sum of the number and the deficit. N plus D. D is minus two, N is 98. So number plus deficit is equal to 96 here. Step number four is find the square of the deficit. Square of minus two will be plus four. So D square here is four. And finally, the square of 98 will be written as in again in two parts. First part is n plus d. Second part is d square. Since 100 has two zeros, which means the second part should have two digits. But d square is 4, so instead of 4, I'm going to write 0, 4 here. Right? And n plus d is 96. So square of 98 is 9604. This is square of 98 using Yavaduna. Our next example is 112. I'm not going to write all the steps now. Steps were for your basic understanding. Once you start solving the problem, you don't need to write all the steps. So 112, n is 112 here, deficit is 12, and number, we know that square of any number is number plus deficit and then d square. Uh, the only thing which you need to keep in mind is d square will have two digits because our base 100 has two zeros. So d square will have only two digits. What is number plus deficit? Number is 112, deficit is 12. Number plus deficit will be 124. And square of d is 12 square. And I know that 12 square is 144, but I cannot write three digits here. So what I'm going to do is one will be carried forward. And my answer will be this one will be added in 124. And our answer will be 12544. So square of 112 is 12,544. Now, next few questions are for your practice and once I display the question on your screen, you will get 15 seconds to solve it and your time starts now. I'm sure you must have solved it. Now let's verify the answers. In first case, base is 10, deficit is 7, number plus deficit is 24 and we know that 7 square is 49, 4 will be carried because we cannot have two digits in the second part of the solution because 10 has only one zero. So the answer, this 4 will be added here, the answer is 289. Next number, 96. 96 deficit is minus 4 you subtract 4 from 96 you'll get 92 and the square of 4 is 16 and yes we'll have two digits because 100 has two zeros so the answer is 9216 and the last number 108 plus 8 116 and the square of deficit 8 is 64 and yes we will write two digits here so the answer is 11664 so good congratulations you could solve these three questions let's move to a bit complicated or you can say uh, three digits or um, a bit bigger numbers uh, let's take 997 square here base is 1000 1000 has three zeros and the deficit is negative deficit is minus three and we know the first part of the square will be number plus deficit so 997 minus three will be 994 and the second part of the solution will be square of three 
which is 9. At the same time, remember we need 3 digits because 1000 has 3 zeros. So there will be 3 digits in the second part of the solution. So our answer is 994009 is square of 997. Isn't it too easy? I'm sure you're finding it too easy. Next one is another number which is close to 10,000. Base is 10,000 here, deficit is 13. So number plus deficit is 10026. And square of deficit is square of 13 and 13 square is 169. But how many digits should be there? In the second part of the solution, there should be four digits. So which means I need a zero here. And square of 10,013 is 10026069. Too easy, isn't it? Now, few questions for you to practice and then we'll end this video. We'll end first part of squaring numbers using Yavadunam. And your 15 seconds starts now. Yes, time up, pens down and let's quickly discuss 117 deficit is 17, 117 plus 17 is 134 and I know that square of 17 is 289, only two digits will come here because 100 has two zeros and the answer is 18689. Second one, 986 square, deficit is minus 14, subtract 14 from 86 we will get 972 and now the square of 14 square of 14 we all know is 196 and we need three digits here so this is my direct solution 972196 and the last number base is 10,000 deficit is 16 and number plus deficit is 10032 and Square of 16 is 256. But I need one more digit here, so I'll write 0, and the answer is 10032256. So this was all about Yavadunam. And in our next video, I am going to extend the application to some other numbers which are close to the multiples of parts of 10. And till then, thank you. Have a wonderful day. If you like the video, click on like button, hit subscribe to watch more videos and bell icon so that you can keep getting the notifications whenever I upload any video. Thank you and have a wonderful day ahead.